Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Mind Your Biz Night E. And I have another, um, I don't want anyone to think I'm a man hater, a man basher. This is just my experience in life and I'm just telling the truth, my truth, right? And hopefully it can help um, many other people, male or female. So anyways, I wanted to talk about how men hate to say I'm sorry they don't even know the word is not even in their vocabulary um, they don't know it exists but they hate to say I'm sorry because of whatever reason it is they want to think that maybe this woman is forgetful maybe she forgot that I was a jabroni to her and I didn't treat her with the respect and honor she deserved so but if you are anything like me you don't forget anything absolutely nothing um, and so anyways, I just want to talk about the reasons or things that they will never say I'm sorry for and the reasons why they will tell you that they are sorry. There are some that do say that, um, but you got to check that even then. So number one, <sighs> a man will never say he is sorry for leaving you. He will never say he is sorry for abandoning you. I think that's the better verb um, that a man actually does to a woman because usually when a man leaves or abandons you he's leaving you for something that he sees as an upgrade he's leaving you for something that he sees is better than you or worthwhile more than you or this situation he feels like you or him are in is not fruitful for his life his life of being demonic or whatever you want to call it um, so he abandons you either he ghosts you or either he actually is man enough to tell you he is not the right one for you or this is just not the right time okay there's nothing wrong with someone being man enough to tell you you are not it I don't see us working out but the thing is when you come back and you don't outright say I'm sorry first that's where I have the issue at I have no problem with someone leaving on good terms or bad terms but being human enough to give you the grace but like, look this is not working out or either I don't want to be with you or whatever I'm gone okay cool go live your life and never come back but when they decide to come back because they think that you were dumb enough to forget what they did to you or dumb enough to forget the the feelings that you felt when they did abandon you and leave you and they want to come back and knock on your door or either email and text you like hi stranger like how are you doing like how's life i hope the city is growing on you please go jump i'm trying not to be anything that sounds like a suicidal but just leave me alone <laughs> okay we have nothing to talk about if you cannot initiate the conversation off i'm sorry for what i did or i apologize for my actions i would like to come back into your life because i did not find anything better than you i could not find anything better than you or you the best thing that ever happened to me or either you're so unforgettable i just need you in my life if you don't come back off of that stay back where you were go back to your mama's house go back to your ex-wife go back to your current wife whatever it is leave me alone okay that's they'll never say I'm sorry for that they just always want to come back and be like what's good shoddy nothing nothing's good go 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 live your life okay Whew. next they will never say I'm sorry for hurting your feelings right so here's some things a lot of men are very particular in it in the way that they want a woman to look or very particular in how they see the woman that is of their dreams um, and so when a woman comes into their life and she's nothing like that or nothing like he envisions or either just whatever he is not getting from you, he will say nitnoid things like you have a double chin, honey, I got like a triple chin right now, but whatever. Or either, you know, you think you're trying to gain weight and you think it's going to your butt, but it's really going to your stomach. What kind of dog would say something like that? Like when someone is obviously like a woman is obviously trying to get better, trying to gain weight or trying to lose weight and maybe she's not doing it up to his standard, but doing it up to hers, men always say some silly stuff and it's just like you were raised by a wolf, a wolverine, or you weren't raised, you just grew because you have no respect for nobody else. You definitely have no respect for yourself, but whatever. 
They cannot say, I'm sorry for hurting your feelings, or I was having a bad day, and I needed to pick on somebody else to make me feel better. Someone smaller than me, right? You can go kick every rock, and I hope you have no shoes on. Men will never say, I'm sorry for that. But what? let me tell you what they will say <laughs> when they are sorry. When they want to come back and is a genuine person, they will say, I'm sorry. They will say, I'm sorry for treating you bad. They will say, I'm sorry for the way that I hurt you. They will say, I'm just sorry because they want to get back in your good graces. This is one out of 10 men will do that. And the thing is, you have to be mindful of that because you got to check someone's intentions um, and see if they are really a genuine person. But like I said, when they when they are genuine and they want to come back, um, they will say, I'm sorry. But here's the thing. The flip side of that is the men that know that they were um, on some BS, they will apologize and they will come back to hurt you worse than the first time they originally hurt you. They will say, you know what? I was wrong. I know you're a good woman. Um, you're, you're everything that I could dream of. Can I get back in your graces? Can I um, bring you dinner? Can I come over? Can I see you? And then for like a week, they are on good behavior and then they revert back to their their ways, right? So when you see someone reverting back to their ways, that's when you got to get up and leave. I'm like, look, this is not serving me and it's not serving you. So keep it moving. So that's the reason why a man will come back. But here's one that I've seen that is far few in between, but it does happen. Um, and that didn't mean come back. I mean, just say I'm sorry. Because usually they say I'm sorry because they're trying to come back. But men will always will also say I'm sorry when that karma doesn't hit them real good. <laughs> okay? I've had two experiences where um, men have apologized for their actions, for what they said or what they did. Because the woman that they decided to go after after me did not want them in the same way that they wanted them. Um, ended up hurting them the way that they hurt me. So they tried to clear the air. They tried to clear the karma. They tried to be in someone's good graces, God's good graces for uh, rectifying the wrong that they did. They come back and say, I'm sorry. And the only reason why I know this is because they will say, I did you wrong. And then the woman that I wanted to be with did me wrong. And I think it was a reverber ooh, reverberated action. Um, based on how I treated you and that's when you'd be like well you know uh, God don't miss nothing <laughs> you live and you learn kick rocks I accept your apology or you, you may not accept their apology it's up to you but the thing is you have to move on with your life because a lot of people a lot of men when they say that are they really being genuine when they say I'm sorry because of something bad happened to me and I know it was the way I know it was because of the way that I treated you Whose graces are you trying to get good at? Are you trying to get my forgiveness so it can clear the slate of your evilness? Please just keep it moving. When someone always comes back, when a man comes back and apologizes, whether it's through Facebook, um, Instagram, oof, um, I just had like flashbacks. Like people will always just, men will always try to come back, whether it's a year down the line, two years down the line when they abandon you and they think that you forgot. They think that... Oh, me inviting her for dinner or for tea or just saying I'm going to make up for what I did is great. And then when you tell them where they can go and how they can get there, they act surprised. <laughs> I behave this way is because you get one chance. No one's perfect and you may get extra chances, but when you get a chance and you disrespect me, you will never get another chance to disrespect me again. I've learned that. So to show a man that I'm not standing still because I never am, I give them a piece of the same pie that they gave me. You want to give me your behind a kiss? Now it's you can kiss my behind, <laughs> okay? Period. So anyways, that was my reasons of why men can't say I'm sorry and why men do say I'm sorry, but it's never really like worth your while. And if somebody does come back, and they, you can tell that their heart has changed. Maybe they went through some counseling. Maybe they uh, found Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Maybe they done talked to someone that had some sense. Then maybe you can um, tiptoe back into their life and watch them. Because some people are just fake and phony no matter what. And they will say, I'm sorry, just, just to have you around. 
and just to leech off your greatness. But anyways, now you know why a man will say he's sorry and why he won't say he's sorry. But let me know what you think in the comments.